mass wedding. Silakan ikut sore ini ada nikah massal di Pondok. And I, uh, I am always amazed at what Pondok Kasih does. Saya selalu takjub dengan pelayanan Pondok Kasih ini. They are helping these couples. Many of them never got married before, but they have family. Pondok Kasih menolong banyak pasangan yang belum sempat menikah resmi. So this is one way they're trying to help them to be legal. Menolong mereka memiliki pernikahan yang sah. And so there are, I think there are about one thousand people. Tapi kira ada seribu pasangan nanti. People who are already living together now they are going to get married. Thousand couple or people. And if any of you want to get married, you you tell me very quickly. Okay, over there too. And I will telephone Mama Hana. Esti silakan numpang. And she she could provide you a new dress and makeup. Artis loh. Now I tell you that. This woman is very creative. Ibu ini sangat kreatif. She thinks of anything that can help the poor people. Dia mikirkan segala cara untuk menolong orang miskin. Whereas a traditional church, they think to help the poor, oh just give them food, you know, give them clothes. Gereja pada umumnya hanya memberi mereka makanan. I've done my duty. I don't have to care about them. Now I'm exaggerating. Saya tidak melebih-lebihkan. But I think a lot of Christians do that. Banyak orang Kristen melakukan seperti. You know, sometimes in America, it's easier to just write a little check and give it to the church, and they think they are finished. Kadang-kadang orang Amerika juga berpikir begitu. Cukup memberi uang saja. No, that's not that's not true of all Americans. But it's true of all Christians. Banyak kan orang kalian berpa kelompok kembali. When I was a young staff worker. Terus saya masih awal-awal menjadi staf perkantor. In the whole state of Hawaii, I was the only staff worker. Seluruh Hawaii, saya satu-satunya staf yang ada. I did not have thirty others to help me. Teman sebanyak ini. And at that time, the American InterVarsity Christian Fellowship was so poor. Ya waktu itu IVS Amerika begitu miskin. They could not send me to. California to get staff training. Mereka tidak bisa mengirim saya ke California untuk ikut training staff. So, I have never had staff training. Saya tidak pernah mengikuti. But I had, I had to learn as I went along. Saya harus belajar sendiri. But let me say this by the grace of God. Saya mau katakan dalam dengan anugerah Tuhan. I had, I believe, the best. Bible training at Wheaton Graduate School of Theology. Saya percaya saja sudah mengikuti training terbaik dari. You know what I dream for you at Procantus? I did not know until Iwan told me the other day that Indonesia is the third biggest student movement in IFES. Ya Indonesia ketiga terbesar di dalam. IVS seluruh dunia terbesar. But you don't have a Bible study secretary. Tapi kalian tidak punya staff yang khusus untuk membawa departemen PA. You must have a Bible study secretary. Harusnya kalian punya. I hope you must have more than one. You must have one for every region. Setidaknya harus ada satu di tiap regio. I just cannot imagine a movement your size not having a Bible study secretary. You know, and you know why you like preaching? Preaching is easier, right? You stand up and you tell people, "This is it." When you are a Bible study leader, you have to be very sensitive to that four or five or six people. Kalau memimpin PA kita harus peka memimpin empat lima orang. You have to know how they think. Kita harus tahu apa yang mereka pikirkan. How they feel. Apa yang mereka rasakan. In a very personal way. Cara pribadi. The discipleship is much much closer. Pemuritan itu melibatkan relasi yang jauh lebih. What I'm saying is that 
I dream for you in Percantes. Oh, to tell the truth, I didn't know that you were as rich as you are. Saya punya mimpi. Hmm? Saya punya mimpi. Okay. You have your own buildings. You have a car. You have all of this equipment. Kira kan sekalian sekaya ini punya gedung kantor punya. I dream. I dream. You know, I dream for you that out of this course, you will see how important it is that you have senior leaders to do what I am doing. I hope that some of you will have the kind of a training I had at Wheaton Graduate School of Theology. Where a very highly disciplined course in biblical studies. You know what I've done in these last three days? Tahu apa yang kita lakukan tiga hari terakhir ini? I haven't taught you just how to prepare a guide. Saya belum cukup untuk mengajarkan bagaimana. I had to give you the background. Membuat bahan PA. Saya banyakkan hanya memberikan. The whole book of Mark. The first five chapters of Mark. Because you cannot teach us one, a few verses if you don't know the big picture. Now that that is just one example of how you need a Bible study secretary. Ada satu atau itulah salah satu. Contoh bagaimana berpa dengan baik. You need to produce and write and publish your own Bible study guides. Kalian harus membuat dan mencetak dan menerbitkan bahan PA kalian sendiri. That is what I have been doing in these past years. Yang saya lakukan tahun-tahun yang lalu. Akhir ini. You know what? I'm going to die one of these days. Okay. Yeah. Akhirnya nanti juga saya akan meninggal. I'm happy. I look forward to that. Menanti. But so I won't be able to come back and teach you how to prepare guides for publication. Saya tidak bisa terus-terusan datang untuk melatih, membuat dan menerbitkan bahan PA. You talk to Yudit about that. Tolong bilang ke Kak Yudit. She gets things done. Okay. Now. You all have two or three sheets of paper. Satu kopian tadi. Oh, ini masih banyak. Thank you. Now it's in English, and I will tell you immediately the material is quite advanced. Bahan ini sangat advanced. Some of you are going to be lost. Berapa kalian akan merasa kesulitan? Some of you will be ready for this. Dan beberapa tidak mengalami masalah. But obviously, I did not have time for you to translate this. Saya tidak punya waktu untuk menerjemahkan. On the first sheet, dari lembar pertama, the biblical the biblical basis of asking questions and seeking answers. Dasar Alkitab menanyakan mengajukan pertanyaan dan mendapatkan jawapan. This gives the whole foundation, the biblical foundation of why IFES and Percantus emphasizes inductive Bible study. Artikel ini menunjukkan pada kita dasar Alkitabiah mengapa IFES melakukan pelayanan PA. Encouraging every Christian and even seekers, they can discover God's word. Mendorong orang Kristen bahkan para pencari Allah untuk Mempelajari Firman Tuhan. And that is harder than preaching, Anthony. What is that? Teaching department and Bible study department. Two, Ina. I'll talk to you later. Ada rock pelawat. You know, so I am challenging. 
those of you who I think are, are a, a senior staff, a little bit more advanced, you are more responsible for this. Now, what this first page does is to show from the Old Testament, you know, Abraham, Moses, their relationship with the Lord, question, answer, question, answer, question, answer. When you come to the prophets in the Old Testament, they did not, they were not prominent until the last 300 years of the Old Testament. Peran mereka tidak terlalu penting sampai 200-300 tahun. Now you, you know facts Terakhir. like when you know facts like that, Jadi, it makes you stop and look at the Old Testament in a new way. Ketika kalian mendengar informasi ini gitu, bisa menolong kita melihat perjanjian lama dengan cara yang baru. Why were there not prophets in Abraham's time? In Moses' time, mengapa tidak tidak ada nabi pada masa Abraham atau pada masa Musa? Although Moses himself was once called a prophet, meskipun Musa sendiri ada juga menyebut dia nabi. And even David was at one time called a prophet. Dan Daud satu kali disebut nabi. But they were not the kind of prophets like you see in the the, the latter part of the Old Testament. Tapi mereka bukan jenis nabi yang seperti bagian-bagian akhir perjanjian lama itu. So that to our advantage, the relationship between the great leaders in the Old Testament and God have been recorded for us. We can examine their relationship with God. Kita bersyukur relasi para pemimpin di perjanjian lama ini dicatat. Kita bisa mempelajarinya so relasi that, mereka dengan Tuhan. The first part of this paper is to point to those examples. Okay, question answer, di question answer. Which means, which means that you as a follower of Jesus should develop your relationship more and more in this way. You talk to God, question answer, question answer. Yang mana pesannya adalah kita pun sama harus mengembangkan relasi dengan Tuhan dengan proses itu. Saya bertanya dan mendapat jawaban, bertanya dan mendapat jawaban. The Psalms in the Old Testament are what we call answering prayers. They are prayers that answer, give our answer to God. Okay, itu sebetulnya isinya tentang jawaban-jawaban doa juga, sharing tentang jawaban doa Tuhan. The Psalmists have had a very deep life experience. Para pemasmur telah mengalami pengal menjalani pengalaman hidup yang sangat dalam. Sometimes it's very uh, uh, an experience of depression. Kadang-kadang pengalaman depresi. Sometimes it's an experience of uh, surrounded by enemies. Pengalaman dikepung musuh. Or sometimes it's a very joyful experience. Kadang-kadang pengalaman sukacita. But they are life experience. Tapi itu adalah pengalaman hidup. And through those experiences, they learn something more about God. Dan melalui pengalaman-pengalaman itu mereka they learn, belajar sesuatu tentang they Allah. They learn something more about themselves. Belajar tentang sesuatu tentang diri mereka Their sendiri. relationship with God. Tentang relasi mereka dengan Tuhan. And out of that deep experience, dan melalui pengalaman yang mendalam itu, they write the Psalms. Mereka menulis lagu-lagu. As an answer to God. Sebagai sebuah respon atau jawaban kepada Allah. They realize God gave them that experience as a message from Him. Mereka menyadari Tuhan mengizinkan pengalaman itu sebagai sebuah pesan dari Tuhan. Now I just got through teaching a course uh, back in Hawaii on the Psalms. Okay, saya harus mengajar tentang Mazmur di Hawaii. And the climax was uh, this was for eight weeks. Selama delapan minggu, puncaknya adalah. And at the uh, toward the sixth, seventh, eighth week. Delapan sampai sembilan minggu itu. The the assignment was now you write a psalm. Tugas akhirnya adalah buatlah mas buah masmur. 
And there were about 40 of in this class. Dan 40 mahasiswa. Both men kelas. and women. Cewek-cewek. And I was very surprised. They all wrote very good songs. Ternyata bagus-bagus masuk mereka. Now, of course, because we had studied a number of psalms, and I showed them, what, how do you write a psalm? How did David write a psalm? How did Moses write a psalm? How did the priest write a psalm? There are certain rules. Kami mempelajari beberapa masmur dan tentang bagaimana masing-masing dibuat oleh individu-individu berbeda profesi. And then, you know, I edited them. Saya mengeditnya. And uh, bound them up in a book. Iya, mengklik, menyatukannya, membukukannya. To encourage them to write more psalms. Untuk menyemangati mereka membuat lebih banyak masmur lagi. So that even the psalms are a dialogue with God. Bahkan masmur itu pun sebutnya sebuah dialog dengan Tuhan. And then we come to the New Testament. Lalu bagian dari dalam paragraf-paragraf ini tentang perjanjian baru. In the fourth paragraph. Mulai paragraf keempat. Uh, I did not write this paper. One of my colleagues wrote this paper. Teman saya yang menulis. Um, then uh, my colleague shows in the rest of the paper how in the New Testament, especially with Jesus, that he developed relationships with people by the same method. Ya, bagian menunjukkan bahwa di Perjanjian Baru Yesus pun berinteraksi dengan orang-orang dengan metode yang sama. Now in in our group this morning there are some new people that were not here the first two days. Saya tahu hari ini ada pendatang baru yang tidak hadir dua hari ini. They know they don't know the answer to this question. Mereka pasti tidak tahu jawaban dari pertanyaan ini. So you tell them. Kasih tahu mereka. In the Gospel of Luke. Di dalam Injil Lukas. How many questions can you find? Berapa pertanyaan yang bisa ada? Aduh, somebody has told him. How many? Um, is that Coco? Coco? Uh, more than 100, 100. But exactly how many? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that underlines that Jesus Our master, our teacher, our Lord. He set the example for you and me to know how to ask good questions. Okay, saya menggaris bawahi di sini Yesus sudah teladan kita bagaimana mengajukan pertanyaan yang baik. And for the rest of uh, 19, uh, 2010. Okay, so, so, sepanjang akhir tahun 2010 ini. Uh, let's see, about, about. Uh, and how? Yeah, one and a half months, about, what is that, 45 days. Say about 40 days. Ada 40 hari. Even though, ini. even though Christmas is coming. Ya, yeah, meskipun Natal go dekat. Go through the Gospel of Luke and put a question mark in the margin of your Bible. Kalau baca Injil Lukas dan tandailah setiap pertanyaan yang ada Or di dalam. Or highlight it. Stabilo lah. Or put them down in your computer. Atau ketik lah. <laughs> All the questions that Jesus asked, and then go back to whom did he ask the question? Okay. What was the context of Jesus asking the question? Apa konteks pertanyaannya? Why did he frame the question in such a way? Mengapa dia mengajukan pertanyaan itu dengan cara seperti itu juga? What happened because he asked that question? Apa yang menyebabkan Yesus menanyakan pertanyaan itu? What made that a good question? Dan ap, kriteria apa yang membuktikan bahwa itu pertanyaan yang bagus? You see, teaching is a, a question. The use of question is a teaching method. Jadi penggunaan pertanyaan merupakan satu metode pengajaran. It causes the student to think. Itu menyebabkan Siswa atau mahasiswa itu berpikir. Okay, let's turn to the next uh, article. Ke halaman berikutnya. Writing good questions for community Bible studies. Membuat pertanyaan yang baik bagi uh, PA kelompok di dalam PA kelompok. 
Now this is what I would like for us to do too, so that we have a little variety. And to give Iwan and me some rest. In your small group, one of you translated into Indonesian bahasa. Is that what you said? Bahasa Okay, I know two words, Tuhan and Bahasa. <laughs> no, I know Terry, uh, I forgot it. Terry Makasi. Okay, okay. Okay, so that you help one another. What is this paragraph about? Do each one of us really understand this? So you help one another discover what makes a good question. Now this is going to take us about half hour, but it is better to for you to do it than for me to try to do it. Okay, apa ciri-ciri atau kriteria pertanyaan yang bagus dari bacaan the whole page? Yeah, to do the whole paper, you 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 read one paragraph at a time, and then the leader, the same leader that you had this morning, doesn't matter. Uh, with staff, everyone is the leader. Baca paragraf demi paragraf dan temukan satu kriteria di situ ya untuk kriteria. Oke, okay, until 11:30 yang baik sampai ya 30 menit kita melakukannya. And we are going to end our session by having a contest. Oke, okay, kita nanti akan mengakhiri sesi kita dengan quiz-quiz dan berhadiah. I'm going to ask you questions that are based on these two and a half days we have together. Nanyanya berdasarkan apa yang kita pelajari dua hari setengah hari ini. Like, how many questions did Jesus ask in the Gospel of Mark? Berapa pertanyaan Yesus ajukan di dalam Kitab Markus? Okay. You can begin. Okay, silakan mulai. Okay, now uh, in the last five minutes, lima menit terakhir ini, I am assuming you were really helping one another to understand better. How to write good questions? Saya berasumsi kalian sudah bekerja sama dengan baik untuk menemukan apa kriteria pertanyaan yang bagus. I want to ask from you just one question. Saya ingin bertanya. What did you learn about writing good Bible study questions from here? Apa yang kalian pelajari di, dari halaman ini tentang mengajukan pertanyaan yang baik di dalam PA? Something that you have not been doing but now you are challenged to do it sesuatu yang mungkin sebelumnya kalian belum lakukan tapi sekarang kalian ditantang untuk membuat pertanyaan seperti okay, let's itu. go right what uh, to, to word it another way what makes a question good for a study discussion so you answer A good study question is blank, 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 blank. Dengan cara menelajuti kalimat ini, sebuah pertanyaan PA yang baik adalah... Oke, let's begin with Yanti's group. Oke, kita mulai dengan kelompok. Give us one good characteristic. Satu kriteria saja, sebutkan. yang mengajak berpikir. Oh, but absolutely basic. Wow. Okay. Sederhana tapi mendasar sekali. Nah, so far so it, so far so good. Okay. So the last two groups don't disappoint us. Okay. <laughs> ya, pertanyaan yang menarik, mengejutkan dan tidak terbuka. Attractive, surprising, and uh, <laughs> unexpected. Did you find that here? <laughs> But that is good. If the group thinks, oh, I know what they're going to ask, they're bored. But if the leader gives the impression that, oh, I wonder what the next question is. They're very excited. 
Okay, the next group, please. Uh, pertanyaan yang baik adalah pertanyaan okay, yeah, Rika, yeah. pertanyaan yang, ter, yang baik adalah pertanyaan terbuka yang bisa membuat orang-orang uh, yang belajar itu bisa mengaplikasikan dalam kehidupan mereka sesuai teks yang di It must be open question and applicable. Okay, absolutely. So far so good, very good. Now the last group. <laughs> Bring the student. To back to the text, not out of the text. As a good, we must pray for his humility. <laughs> okay. Now, in the in the next half hour, we have one hour left. But in the next half hour, go back to your questions that you framed yesterday. Okay. Now you know the principles and what we have shared, that's still theoretical. Now put into practice by improving your questions. Praktekkan itu dengan mengembangkan pertanyaan-pertanyaan yang teman-teman sudah buat tadi tugas kemarin ya. Okay, you have 25 minutes. Perbaiki yang tugas kalian kemarin itu dengan halal baru hari ini. Right, and then the fourth one. Implementation. Right, very good. <laughs> well, you are going to get this pen that you can hang around your neck, and it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one of these nice little wall hangings. dinding manis ini. How many times did Ernest Hemingway rewrite and rewrite? Ernest Hemingway menulis lagi. The old man and the sea. Okay, uh, Marley, you put your hand. Malia, you put your hand up first. 89 times and you get this prize it says here fear not for behold i bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people okay uh, uh, nita i think you have to help me with this this one now, for one of these uh, calendars, um, this one is very American, maybe you don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> what are the four power events in Mark chapter 4 to Wasa chapter 5? No, no, Ata, you cannot answer. <laughs> The four power events. I wrote them. The last four Bible studies in in the Bible guide. And we studied the first one. Coming of the storm. Okay, anybody? Oh yeah, lanjutkan silakan sudah ada. Okay, Pharaoh. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. You can. <laughs> you can choose which of these you want. So. The 2011 calendar. Hey, Jakarta is doing very well. Jakarta. <laughs> oh, 
she took the American flag. <laughs> okay. Now, here is a pocketbook calendar. In, in which year did Jesus appoint the 12 apostles? Okay, uh, 20. Second year? The second year, okay. You don't have a choice. You can only have this one. <laughs> <laughs> Now this is a harder one. It's one of the one of the calendars. Give us the outline of a Bible study guide. Beginning with bridge. Okay, uh, what's your name? SC. Okay. The bridge. And okay, that's it. Very good. Very good. <laughs> you can choose one of these calendars. Okay. <laughs> 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 now for another wall hanging. Why were hey, where are the men? <laughs> Why were the people in the synagogue amazed with Jesus? Okay, a good. Because Jesus has Oh. Okay, here's okay. your prize. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you can choose which one you want. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um. <laughs> Why are the two Okay. Uh, now, for a, uh, a, a another wall hanging. What were the two crises in Mark 4, 35 to 41? Okay, uh, 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 Berman? Yeah, Berman? Fear of drowning. Crisis of uh, knowing God. Okay, very good. <laughs> you, you can choose which one you want. You want two of them? <laughs> you want two of them? Okay, okay. <laughs> Anybody who is so bold. <laughs> Can have it. You can have two of them. Menghargai keberanian ibu ya. Ibu menghargai keberanian. Okay, now I have. Yang lebih berani langsung ambil aja. Okay. Now I have two calendars left. Um. What are two characteristics of a good Bible study question? Dua karakteristik. Two characteristics of a good Bible study discussion question. Okay, Nita. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. You can choose. You can. <laughs> you can. You cannot have. You cannot have two. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> okay. 
Now here's the last one. You want bread? <laughs> Give us two more okay. good char uh, characteristics okay. of a good Bible study question. Characteristic dua karakter yang lain pertanyaan PA yang baik. Two more besides what Nita gave. Selain open ended dan memancing imajinasi. Okay, Shanti. Oh, she, she already had. She already had. Oh, okay. If nobody answers, anybody else? James. Okay, James. It must be different from Nita's. Okay. Okay. Which one of these do you want? <laughs> okay, thank you, James. Okay, one more, one more question. Um, mm, ah, this is an easy one, but very important. Why is the bridge important at the beginning of a Bible study? Okay, uh, is it, uh, uh, what's your name? Are we Already, we can't win. Okay, somebody. Rika uh, Blum. Rika Blum. Rika Blum. Rika Blum. Rika Blum. Rika Blum. Oh, oh, not yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I want to thank Iwan. He gave me that idea of how to get rid of these little kids. Okay. Yeah. And um, I want to thank him <laughs> for translating all of these three days. <laughs> I'm not easy to translate for. I think I speak clearly. Uh, but sometimes I get so excited because you are listening so carefully. I keep on talking and I forget about him. <laughs> but um, I have something for all of you. <laughs> This is my New Year's gift for you. Uh, a friend of mine looked at a new last year's my message from last year, and and I okay. And in my message, I I said I like New Year. I, I like the first of the month. Saya suka bulan pertama. I like Mondays. Saya suka hari Senin. I like sunrise. Saya suka matahari terbit. I like birthdays. Saya suka hari ulang tahun. Because they remind me of Jesus' resurrection. Saya tentang kebangkitan Kristus. That Jesus is always telling us. Oh Yesus selalu memberitahu kita. With me you can always start afresh in a fresh way. Dan aku kamu akan selalu bisa melakukan hal-hal yang baru. So that is my New Year's gift for all the rest of you. Tahun baru saya buat kalian semua. Okay, come on, Agung, you pass them out, please. Kartu pos ya, tolong kirimkan ke saya lagi. Now you know that we began three days ago. Kalian tahu kita sudah mulai tiga hari yang lalu. And I was very honest and frank to say that I was not happy about this assignment. 
Saya sudah jujur mengatakan awalnya saya tidak suka tugas ini. Because it came so late. Karena begitu mepet mendadak. Uh, I could not prepare. Saya tidak sempat mempersiapkan uh, diri. That is, I know the materials, of course. Itu saya tahu bahan-bahannya, saya punya bahan-bahannya. But I always like to have time saya, to adapt to the new group. Tapi saya selalu perlu waktu untuk mengadaptasikannya untuk setiap kelompok yang akan saya uh, but, but you did and Mama Hana arranged everything for three days. Beauty dan Ibu Hana hanya memberi saya tiga hari untuk mempersiapkan. Anna, I was a little unhappy with you did. <laughs> <laughs> but but I also admired her. Saya tidak suka tapi sekaligus mengagumi Kak Yudit. She really wants the best for Perkantas. Dia menginginkan yang terbaik untuk Perkantas. And one of the great characteristics of Yudit is Salah that satu ciri she Yudit, doesn't give up easily. Dia tidak mudah menyerah. <laughs> she is very persistent. And I recognize that God was speaking through her. Hanya saya men- menyadari Allah sedang bicara melalui dia. And I knew that this was from God. Dan akhirnya saya tahu bahwa ini semua adalah kehendak Tuhan. I have not been disappointed at all. Dan sekarang saya tidak kecewa sama sekali. I have been praising God and I have been telling the Pondok Kasih people. Saya sudah bersyukur people, kepada Tuhan dan memberitahu orang-orang di Pondok Kasih. I am working with a highly motivated group. Saya melayani orang-orang yang punya semangat tinggi. I am working with a strategic group. Saya melayani orang-orang yang sangat strategis. Paul In 2 Timothy chapter 2 pasal 2 Paulus verse 2 ayat 2 2 Timothy 2 chapter 2 verse 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 ayat 2 2 Paul tells Timothy what you have learned from me and trust to faithful men and women who are who will be able to teach others also Now in a way I feel like Paul Other people have given me so much Orang lain sudah memberi banyak kepada saya. I pass it on to you as Timothy Saya meneruskan kepada kalian sebagai Timotius Timotius saya You are to pass it on to students men and women kalian pun harus meneruskannya kepada mahasiswa kalian who will be able to teach others also mereka yang akan juga bisa mengajar orang lain now that's four generations ada empat generasi di ayat ini and every staff worker has to keep that vision in mind setiap staff harus merenungkan hal ini kebenaran ini I am learning from others in order that I can pass it on. Bahwa saya sedang belajar dari orang lain dengan tujuan untuk bisa to, meneruskannya. To student leaders who can pass it on. Untuk para pemimpin mahasiswa yang juga akan bisa That is always the vision lain. of a, a student staff work. Kehar selalu menjadi visi staff. And I would like to thank you for the privilege that I have had. Saya bersyukur untuk hak istimewa yang saya dapat ini. And in the last few minutes that we have. Menit-menit terakhir ini. Let's praise God for what he has done amongst us in these three days. Mari kita bersyukur kepada Tuhan untuk karyanya tiga hari terakhir ini. Secondly, make a new commitment to him. Yang kedua, kita akan membuat komitmen baru untuk kepada dia bersama-sama. And there's also room for confession. Juga kita mengakui akan pengakuan-pengakuan dosa. Have I been lax? Have I been slow? Apakah aku selama ini sudah lamban atau kurang Have belajar? Have I been negligent in really carrying out this vision of four generations of passing it on? Aku suka mengabaikan pola ini, apa meneruskan apa yang kita dapat Whatever kepada orang lain. Whatever God has laid on your heart, ya taruh itu dalam hati kalian. You pray that. Berdoalah untuk hal-hal itu. And let's do it in our small groups of threes. lakukan dalam kelompok kita yang bertiga so that everybody has the opportunity to pray sehingga setiap orang punya kesempatan berdoa and then at the end I will ring the bell about three or four minutes or I will listen saya akan bunyikan bell terus saya akan mendengar and the person who is praying at that time finish your prayer setelah kalian semua selesai berdoa orang yang akan berdoa penutup adalah And then Iwan will close for all of us.
Okay, let's pray. Langsung berdoa ya. Gantian berdoa. Okay. You and I can pray.